Hey there, the Geeky Minecrafter here. Welcome to the next episode in the Let's Play series. Uh, as you can see, I have created a new base. We talked about this in the last episode. Now, since then, I have had some challenges. Not gonna lie to you. I started the new world and things were going really, really well. And then I thought I would start streaming on Twitch and I've streamed eight or nine times. I was building this world, was taking everybody through it. And of course I had some technical difficulties so I lost a number of those streams. Uh, things were just not going well. So I'm sorry you missed a lot of building out the initial stuff. And I, I told you in the video I wasn't going to make you sit through all of that. So let me just take you on a really quick tour and then uh, then we'll continue the series so one of the first things I did let me start right up here so when we landed in this world as you can see we're in a swamp okay now I've done some improvements on here but you know it's a swamp biome with quite a bit of water this was a small hillside about at this level right here so we just dug right straight down into the hillside here created our first hobbit hole now we've since expanded it uh, but this was our initial hobbit, hobbit hole, and this was our initial uh, food source. You know, one of the first things you got to do is set up some food. So I've got carrots and uh, that I got from a zombie, and wheat that I got from the grass seed. And I have been, as you can see from here, I have been uh, mining this or farming this quite a bit. Now, um, one of the next things we did was go create a chicken farm. Let me go show you that. So we needed a stable food source, and uh, I do like chicken. Chicken is, it's not quite as good as steak, but it's plentiful, it's self-replicating. Uh, so I have a chicken cooker right up there. So they're in the uh, breeder cells, the cells pop out and give eggs. Uh, the eggs pop down, uh, give us chicken. As the chicken grows up in the, up under that lava, when they get tall enough, the lava kills them and you get cooked chicken. Now obviously that's been running a while. I've just come back in the world. Uh, so having those three chickens is just for the couple of minutes that I've been in here uh, getting set up for the video. So one of the things I do pretty much every time I come in is I you know uh, go collect all, all my goodies and place them in the food chest. Now this is this is just our what I'm gonna call the overflow, our, our quick reference. And this is an input chest to um, an area called, you know, that we have out here, the sorter. So down here, come on, come on, honey, you can do it. Down here, uh, following this hopper chain, this input chain here, uh, we have a sorter room that starts right here. This is the input, flows all the way down, all the way around, all the way down. And then I have some extras right down here for the things that I'm, you know, I don't currently have. Mm -hmm. As you can see, things that we, we create, we put in the input chest. Uh, if they don't have something that they're going to be filtered out uh, prior to this chest, they'll land right here. Oh my goodness! Uh, okay. Let's just have a quick bite to eat, and go see if you'll give me an ender pearl, because uh, you can never have too many ender pearls, right? Let's see. Okay, God, I'd hate to die right here. Oh, yes, another ender pearl. So I'm trying to collect them. I don't have a lot yet, uh, but I am trying to collect them. So anyway, this is the uh, sorter room, and uh, we'll be expanding that, adding on to that. That, of course, goes right back up to the base. Uh, if you go out this direction, this is the mine right down here. Of course, I'll show you that in just a minute because we will be mining. Uh, let me show you the last of it here. So, this is that little front entrance. Here's the nether portal. Here's my enchant room. So, again, a lot of what you missed is just uh, farming cows, getting enough leather, uh, farming um, sugar cane, which is, I had out there where the trees are now. I had those. Um, I, I placed them uh, in here. I quit. I've replaced the sugar cane with trees because, I, you know, as you can tell, I have a lot of paper. Uh, that sugar cane farm was very, very productive. 
uh, in fact, uh, it's so productive I, I don't need it anymore. So let me show you where that was. So each one of these slits right out here had two rows of sugar cane. And every time I came in, I knocked them all down, harvested them, brought them in, uh, converted them to paper. Uh, and as you can see, um, got some spare little animals. I, I don't know what's going on. Some of the babies, when I come in here and breed them, some of the babies get out. I have a rabbit in there, I've got a zombie in there. It's just not working for me. Oh, that cow scared me. Come here, come here, honey. There you go. Oh, and here comes a creeper. Oh, not blow up my cow farm. Really? Oh my god, really? Oh, come on. Come on, back up, guys. Back up, guys. Gotta put a block down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Gah. Stupid creepers. Come on. God, I hate me some creepers. Where? Where? Losing all my animals. Give me a break. Come on. I hate creepers. Okay, well, isn't that fun? Where'd that spider go? I'm actually more worried about the spider. Look at all of this. Good grief. I should just knock them all down in that hole until I can come out here and finish it up. Well, let's not waste the leather. Come here. Come here, honey. I still have some in here. That's good news. So I will be able to rebuild. Let's go ahead and Let's get in there, guys. Come on. Get in there. Come on. Get in there. Come on. Good, good. Everybody down. Everybody down. Come on. Ah. You know, this was supposed to be... Here, I'm going to hit you with this. This won't hurt you. Come here. I should probably pause this stinking video. Stupid creepers. Do you just do you just not love the creepers? <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, really? Alright, there's no point in letting this meat go to waste. Uh, I gotta go in and get some get in there. Come on, go on. Gotta go get some uh, fences. Let's do that really fast. I do have some down in the sorter room. Good boy. Come on, honey. Oh, well, apologize for that little sidetrack. Oh, God, I hate creepers. Uh, let's see, is fence this way? I no, actually, I think fence is this way. Hee hee hee. Right down here, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh, is this the oak? Yeah, we'll take some oak beds. Good grief. Okay. Hmm. As long as I can keep at least two cows and two sheep in there, I can rebuild. And like I said, we've got plenty of food. We've got an auto source for chicken. Uh, got quite a few potatoes up here. I mean, you know, we've got quite a bit. Let's see. I know I've got a uh, slime over here. Oh, did I leave my... I did. I left my uh, axe in the house. I need to move one of those. Sorry about that. I should probably get in bed, stop this stupid weather. Got my axe. Oh yeah. I definitely need some uh we'll just use uh 
cobble for right now. I'll, I'll come replace this. Okay. There's no reason to keep this uh, cobble, but for right this minute, anything spawning in there. Oh, good grief. Okay, so yeah, this has been a great beginning to the show. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> oh my. Well, you know what? That is just going to have to do for right now. Um, oh, I thought this was low. It's not. It's, uh, it's dark oak. Yeah, when I first came in, this whole peninsula right over here was just full of dark oak. I mean, crazy full. It was so deep, even in the daylight, they were spawning in there because it was so dark. So, we have uh, we fended out some. Let's see what we have over here. Again, when, my, when I'm breeding them, they do appear to be uh, glitching out the little... The little babies do appear to glitch out, so I'm getting quite a few. Alright. Oh, yeah, a couple of them. Alright, run, run, run. Get where I can fight them here. Just want a little bit more space to move around. Oh, I don't like the babies. Come on, baby. Come on. Did not leave me any armor. This is wrong. Wow, that was exciting. Okay, so it's daylight now. Let me let me finish the tour. <laughs> Hopefully, we won't encounter any more uh, creepers. So I do have some uh, pumpkins going up here. I have not found any melon seeds. More importantly, I have not found any um, abandoned mine shaft. Now that's the chicken cooker that I was telling you about before, and this bit of cobblestone that goes all the way around this defines the borders of my spawn of my spawn chunk and this actually winds up being the actual center of the spawn chunk and this is the southeast spawn point center here so this was uh, necessary to get all this all the chunks laid out so that i could uh, define this border and i, I want this border because anything inside here will continue to function even if I'm in the nether, if I go exploring way over there, and I do have a, a village way over there. Um, so it was necessary to build, for example, this iron golem farm uh, within the spawn chunk so that it will continue uh, to produce iron for me no matter where I am in the world. As long as I'm in Minecraft, it's producing for me. me quickly go show you what that is. Uh, found a couple of designs on YouTube. Tried several out. Uh, this one worked. wasn't as complicated as some of the others. It is three levels. There are quite a few doors. There's at least one floor and one block above each door. That's one of the requirements. Um, each one of those levels spawns in iron golems uh, to protect the villagers. And of course, each one of these four pods right here, see I'm sticking out on the edges here, each one of those contain between, I want to say, 15 or 20, all the way up to 40, depending on how cooperative the villagers were, which, frankly, <laughs> they weren't very. I used quite a bit of dirt and water to flow them where I wanted them, but, uh, you know, they kept trying to escape, uh, they didn't want to breed, I didn't have enough doors, I mean, it's just been... It's just been a bit of a challenge. So I do have it going now. Again, it's producing almost as much iron as I'm mining when I go down, go down into the mine for like a like a two or three mines or two or three um, what am I trying to say? Two or three hour session. I'm pulling out, you know, a couple of stacks of iron. I come up here and there's another stack waiting for me. So you know it is improving my overall iron production, if you will, which is helpful. I mean, it, it, it does improve it. Uh, let's see. I think you can see it from right up here. I did shorten my render distance trying to uh, correct a problem. Let's see how close we have to get up. You can see it. it's right up there in the sky. 
Okay, we'll go the hard way. We'll go the long way. Okay, you can begin seeing it start up right there. So what I did, and this was what we covered in the last video of the last Let's Play, was I did go in and build my spawner. And again, I'm sorry, I've had so many technical difficulties, and the Twitch stream kept breaking, and I should have just been recording it like I do with this, with Camtasia. Uh, but I was trying to broadcast at the same time, so again, my apologies for not being able to produce this on camera. If it becomes an issue, if you just really need or want to see it, let me know, uh, and I'll build another one. I won't build it quite this close to base, but I will build another one. Uh, I've kind of been thinking about modifying this one, because one of the things I'd like is, you know, this is an AFK station. I can go over here, park my character, go well, AFK, Look at that. Uh, go AFK for a while and collect a ton of resources. Arrows and gunpowder and spider eye and web. I mean, it just produces a lot. Just making sure I'm alone out here. Um, but I don't get any of the XP from this. They fall, they die, and they give me their drops, but I don't get any of the XP. And I, I think I would like one of these farms that would maybe, you know, where I could throw a switch, would flow them down to an area where I could go way along, uh, go, you know, get the XP from actually killing them. Get right in here. I guess I should show you this here. Okay, so this is the sorter room. So all the drops come down from the lava flow area right up there. They flow into this, and as you can see, they collect right down here. Um, so I, I have, you know, basically an unlimited supply of arrows, an unlimited supply of uh, bones, uh, you know, pretty much all of this stuff, all the way down. Now, I, I am getting, in this odd, I am getting the odd um, iron bar. I think it's because the zombies carry them. Now, I just emptied this chest and the one above, um, trying to clear this out because, you know, you get, you get more zombies than anything else, a lot of zombie meat. Uh, so I have to come in here and make sure I get it cleaned out. I do try to get over here at least once per session to uh, clear it out. This is the piston clock. And we have, uh, you know, the stuff going back and forth. Yeah, a little extra in there. Stuff being passed back and forth. It fires the piston, which sends this around. And uh, this goes all the way up this uh, torch chain. And then uh, stops or causes the water to flow, and the, zo the zombies and the mobs drop. Let's, let's turn this down. This is kind of crazy. Here we go. Here you go. Right, we need to buy it while we're watching. So I'll sit here for a second, and you'll be able to see the splat pad that I produced. Uh, that takes all the drops that I'm getting when they fall like this and washes them down into my hopper chain and sends it down into the chest below. Now, because this water is flowing, if they were to fall right now, they'd land in this water and many of them would survive, particularly the, um, the spiders. I just heard it fire, so we may see... Okay, so... I, I've been working on the timing. It, about every hour, it reaches the point where every time the mobs fall, they fall in water. But that's one of the reasons I put the lava right here. Uh, the, the water will flow, it'll push them down into the lava, and I still get uh, about a third of the drops. Now, I do lose some when they hit the lava. Not, not all, but I do lose some. Uh, but like I said, um, it only happens every, uh, every hour or so that everybody survives for two or three runs. But the water just pushes them right down. And if they stay near the edge, I get the drops. If they manage to get deeper into the lava, I don't get the drops. That's pretty much how that works. Okay, so let's go up and take a look at the AFK station. And we'll use that to, oh, as long as we're here. I have a little bit of inventory open. I'm gonna grab as much as I can, because I'm here. There's no point in, in leaving without this stuff. So, I don't have a lot of room, but I do have some. And I always use some more arrows. 
Does range work full? Yes, it looks like. Okay. Okay, well, let's take this door out. And cobble out. And sign out. Let's see if I can't really believe this. We can cook that if we need to. That way I can carry a little bit more. I've been, I, I need some more bone meal. Um, I've been planting a lot of trees uh, and making them grow pretty fast. So that should do it. Okay, let's head on back. I'll give you the rest of the tour and then show you, you know, that there is a portal for getting over here. Uh, now it's it's way up here in the AFK station. I really need to create another portal for down here or find a better way to get up and down. Maybe create a minecart elevator or something. Again, I haven't been in this world long. If you've watched my Let's Play series, you know some of the things I've created in the other worlds. Um, so I will, you know, I will be adding to this. This is, oh, come on. Beautiful. Oh, I don't like walking this, and I, I may come in and add to this. Again, it's just what I needed to get going. I needed a lot of the resources that were coming in, uh, especially the uh, spider webs for the dispensers and like that. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead, can I carry that? I'll leave that. Uh, we'll replace this. These are just emergency supplies. I'll leave that here. Okay. So again, I've got some building uh, left to do over here. I don't have it enclosed. Uh, but this is where you're meant to stand in AFK. So basically, these three levels, like, like we talked about before, produce mobs. Where you see these dark brown spots in the birch wood, those, underneath those are dispensers. When that piston clock over there fires, the water flows, it knocks the mobs down, they hit the splat pad, and life is good. On this end, I have another piston clock that controls the dispensers on this end. It causes the water to flow and push all the drops down to where I can pick them up. So if I stand here a moment, and it does take a moment for it to heat up once you've been too close to it. Uh, you know, mobs won't spawn within 20 blocks of you. Uh, and I just did cross over the, uh, the top here. So it takes a moment for it to warm up. But once it warms up, it just looks like it's raining mobs. It's a beautiful thing. I gotta tell you, I'm really pleased with the way it turned out, all in all. I'm sorry you missed it. <laughs> okay, so we'll wait about one more minute, see if we can't get, uh, get it raining more. So we can see when it's gonna fire. I'm looking at that piston right there, okay, so it just fired. I just gotta walk all the way around the little timer. Some clouds. Oh, I hope the clouds don't block us off. Come on. Come on, let us see it rain in mobs. Because frankly, that is some big time fun. You know, I spent um, spent quite a bit of time building this. Died a couple of times because I fell off stuff. You know, your finger gets to cramping because you're holding down the shift key when you're up here building. And uh, you release it at the wrong time trying to, you know, get a better position. And next thing you know, you're splat down on the ground. Okay, well, it's just not warming up very fast, so we will go ahead and head back to the mine. Now I'm going to go through the nether portal that I created. Um, one of the very first things I did was, you know, when I spawned in, um, my nerd pulled up, came up right here, uh, and if, I, won't, I won't show you that just yet. Uh, if you if you look right down there, you can you can see where actually I'll go okay. You can see where I came in. Come here, Mr. Pigman. Please move. Okay. Oh, I almost, thought I almost died. Well, okay. I'm gonna go down. Oh yeah, there you go. Really hate falling off. Okay, here we go. I don't want anybody pushing me off. So, 
when I originally spawned in, I spawned in right there. You see it? That's the uh, the nether portal. The original nether portal that came in. Put a little banner up. I did some exploring. Realized that uh, I needed to be right above it. So I just nerd pulled up. And once I did, um, found the correct coordinates. Uh, produced another. Uh, produced another uh, another portal up here. Oh my goodness, do I not have any more blocks? Well, we could jump up on the wall, I guess. Okay. So. Okay, good, good. Sorry about that. So, uh, once I got up here, uh, replaced the portal. And then uh, now I've got a place where I could come in, and every time I, you know, create something new, ooh, bomb, 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 just head back where we just were. Uh, I can now place a portal up here, and I've got a pretty safe area here. We're only three tall, so gas cannot spawn up here, and I don't mind pigmen spawning; uh, they can't really hurt me. Uh, I did find a packed ice spire biome. Uh, which I put a uh, nether portal to once I found it. And then again, nerd pulled up, came up to my hub, and uh, let's see. Came up to my hub and then, you know, went back down and destroyed the other one. So now I can portal between the areas that I need to get to. And as I add new areas in the world that I'm going to need to get to, I'll add them up to that, that hub upstairs. So let's, uh, let's push this stuff off, send it down to the sorter. All I do, um, okay, there we go. Now I don't have uh, leather upstairs or downstairs. I do have um, pearls in here, and I have leather and all the bookmaking uh, tools. In my enchanting room, I do also have a crafting table, of course, right there. So, do we have uh, what we need to go mining? I think we do. Uh, let me just go offload the uh, uh, fence and the. Oh, good grief! See, the fence and the wall, and the wall can go in here. I don't want to send that uh, fence back down because I am going to make a change over there, I, I think. And I do have two picks. Yes, I do. Do I have, oh, I have enough levels to enchant that other pick? Now, I'm going to keep this closed. I, I do get the occasional uh, zombie pigment in here. Uh, and so I try to keep it closed. I don't mind him wandering around in the mine, but, you know, up, out here where he can get to me, not so much. Okay. So, let's see what we have here. What I really want is silk touch. Oh, please give me a silk touch. Oh, okay, well, taking and breaking. Okay, boy, I'm just, you know, I've got the packed ice spires. Uh, by them found, but you can't pull that stuff out without a silk touch pick. So that's making it kind of difficult. I, I can't build the, the mob farm that I want without the silk touch. Okay, so <laughs> got my levels built back up. You saw me just do a couple of enchants. I'm pretty upset. Uh, was down here working and was right in uh, right in here. Yep. Was right in there and found some lava. That was like the stuff I didn't want. Those appear to be a little dark. Found some lava, was over here working on it, you know, converting it to obsidian, mining obsidian, and I had an open uh, bit of lava here, and a zombie stealthed up behind me. Never heard him. Stealthed up behind me and knocked me in the lava, caused me to die and lose all my levels. Not happy. Not happy. 
Okay, so this is the mind. This is the lower level. I do have an upper level. Um, it only goes so far this way. It does go further on the upper level. Uh, the lower level, oh gosh, it goes quite a ways. Uh, but the upper level, again, goes significantly longer. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm not sure if we can reach the end. Uh, by the time I tell you, it's so long, I can see the moon rise over here. It's one of those game glitches, you know, where uh, if you're up here and uh, you're looking at one end, because it's a, a void, if you will, I'm actually able to see if it's night or day because, you know, when it's moonrise, I can see the moon down here. Get a sense of how long this month goes. <laughs> okay, I won't bore you by running all the way to the end. But it does go quite a ways. Um, I have been mining quite a bit of obsidian. I, I do have a couple of pools that are up here. I've been waiting on an efficiency 5 pick. I do have two fours, uh, which when they get kind of lower, uh, I will uh, merge them and see if I can't get an efficiency 5 out of that. Does it just seem like I'm running really slow? I kind of am. Huh. Well, I'm not sure what's going on. I apologize if it's as jerky to you guys as it is to me up here. Now this is uh, this is kind of a fun little deal. It opens up into a cavern, which I've left open. And when I'm up here working, especially, you know, right around here, zombies will drop in there, and I can just walk up and wail on them. That's kind of fun. Okay, so, let's see, I think it's this one. Yeah, we just came back on this one, so I'm now working on this one. Uh, and as you remember from my other Let's Play, or from the other episode, the other mine, I have mine three high. I put the torches on the right as I move forward. Uh, when I hear lava, I go into and down one, and then mine all these out. That way, if the lava starts, you know, flowing, uh, I'm protected, and then I move forward like that. So two over, one down. I'm gonna put these all in. Uh, now we do need uh, again. I need a lot of resources, but what I need is obsidian. But, oh my lord, obsidian is just crazy boring to watch. Heck, it's crazy boring to do. Uh, takes so long on each uh, each piece of obsidian. And if you've got lava underneath, you have to go slow, you have to build out your cobblestone. Uh, it's just crazy how long it takes to mine obsidian. I wish they'd come up with an enchant that, you know, it's like a obsidian specific pick. Just one hit it. Now, if you remember from before, I like to fill this stuff in. I don't like leaving it messy. But it means uh, I don't pull as much cobblestone out as you might think, because I spend a lot of time filling in for all the mine that I, or all the, you know, the materials that I find. Do a lot of redstone and, and coal, for example, and you can run out of cobblestone pretty fast. Well, is this uh, is this pick I'm breaking? It is. I'm breaking three. So I've got a little bit of time left on it. You know, I should probably use this one on the obsidian. I have an obsidian pool coming up in just a minute. I found it down here just a little bit ago. Sorry, I'm running really pretty dark here. I found it just a little bit ago, converted some of it into um, obsidian, started mining it out, and uh, broke a pick. Had to head back up and uh, get another one. Like that. Gravel makes me nervous. That generally means lava in some form. I don't know that I meant to do that one. Is it just me or does that make y'all dizzy? It kind of makes me dizzy when I'm moving pretty fast. I find I have to sit back a little bit away from the monitor, but then, you know, I've got a new studio mic, and now I'm, I'm not too close to the studio mic, so 
six or more than half a dozen of an hour of one another day. You know, if the other mic was working well enough, I could put it back on. It is a headset. Then I can kind of back up a little bit and not make myself so dang dizzy. Okay, it does take a little while to get from one end of the mine to the other. What I may do is shoot over into the... Uh, let me just pop over here. And run down here and show you the other end of the mine. Um, I do have a couple of channels that I cut. This was all lava, and I did mine the obsidian and pull it out. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, it's, it's pretty much done. It was a, cu a couple deep. I had to get up on top of it, convert it to obsidian, uh, and then come back down. Uh, and like I said, I pulled, oh, I don't know, 20 stacks of 64 out. I need about 20 more uh, to do the gold farm that I want to do. So, aren't you happy I'm not forcing you to watch me mine obsidian? Okay, this popped out from the lower mine and went into a cavern right over there. And this is the back end of the mine. And if you remember uh, from my earlier descriptions, I do like to do two wide on the back end. That's one of the things that lets me know I'm on the back end of the mine. I do also put all the torches on the left going towards the mine, all the torches on the right leaving the mine. Oh, looks like I lost a ladder. That means I don't want to jump down there because I did not bring a ladder with me, did I? No. So I did find <laughs> a cavern on this end, and uh, oddly enough, got killed a couple times by creepers. So I'm leaving this until I've got a little bit of backup, if you will. Uh, got a couple people that are playing in this server with me, uh, and I, I like working on this when you know when there's two of us. When we can cover each other's back or pick each other's stuff up if we do get killed uh, and have to head back. And every time I you know, cut a slit down here, I go a little bit further. Just do this, pull a little bit more of this, this stuff here out. Uh, because again, I, I do like my mines to be nice and neat and you know, visible and where I can look down and see everything that's going on. I could cut a set of stairs down, but I won't. So every so often, I'll put one of these that go all the way across. In fact, I'll probably do one right here. And just do that. Yeah, because I like to be able to cross over and back, over and back. So that one goes all the way to the front. That one goes all the way to the front. Those are the only two that I've cut down here on the top. I do have some down there. Oh, I left that one open. I hate that. I see, do I have a crafting table down here? I do. Okay. So let's do this. Let's come down here and see if I can't craft a little bit of... Oh, do I have any wood? No. Okay. That's what I've forgotten to do, is bring wood down to the other end of the mine. So, I will put that on my agenda. And we'll do this. I can fill in. You know, I'm just, I'm anal retentive that way. What can I tell you guys? Uh, I find I just work best if I'm not worried about, you know, things being able to get into the area where I'm working. Color me a chicken. Color me bok, 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 bok. That's right. I'm a girl. I'm scared of monsters. I own it. It takes a while to run all the way down the end of the mine. It takes a lot longer to mine to the other end of the mine. Matter of fact, uh, when I come in before going to bed, I you know I mentioned before I spend an hour mining. It's kind of relaxing. Uh, it takes an hour pretty much to get all the way down there, uh, especially if you have to work around lava or you know you find a cavern you have to deal with. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, let's just make sure. I think I've got it closed off now. For a while, every time I came out in here, there was somebody in here ready to wail on me. 
Okay, this is tough. I haven't taken it. Oh. I'm leaving this to um smelt while I was down here. Let me put this in. I believe one of these chests has wood. I think it's oh, good great. Okay, so I tell you what, we're gonna pull this and this and take it to the other end of the mine with us. This we're gonna carry out. Okay, so this is a Let's Play series, and one of the things I do a lot of when I'm playing is mine. Uh, so, let's go. How many miles? Let's just carry, carry those to the other end. I can always make some more down here. It's easier to get stuff down to this end of the mine. So we'll carry these to the other. Let's see. I hit lava right down there. Uh, so we, what we may do... Oh, goodness no. Hit lava right here, too, apparently. Oh, yeah. It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> I remember... Let's just go up a little bit. Well, let's see if we can't. Oh, goodness, I'm not set up for mining. Hold on. Okay, so pick those in one. Two. Uh, water's in four. Actually, water stays in five. There we go. Is it just the one? Yeah, don't want any surprises jumping out at me there. Okay. Oh, good. Looks like it was just that little bit right there. So right side. You know, come on, it's here. I gotta mine it. You know that, right? I just I just have to. I'm hardwired. Come on, I can't cover this up and uh, leave it there. Not hard to jump out of here. I think this will do it though. As you can tell, one of the first things I did was bring my mine all the way down to bedrock uh, and then come up like two. So I came down, uh, bedrock pretty much ends about five. So I came up to six. I believe I'm on six. Yes, I'm on six. Uh, that gives me the most utility out of my mind. So pretty much, you know, if I've got something in the floor, which you're going to see, you know, because rarely is it just one block. You know, if you've got iron or redstone or coal or whatever, rarely is it just one block. Now diamonds can be, but you're, you know, gosh, it's, um, it's pretty rare to find just one. And when you do, um, just find the one, you know, you're, you're well, or, or if you're going over just the one, you're not losing a significant part of the resources in the world. So I don't worry about the odd one, which is one of the reasons um, I'm considering going back to my three between each uh, mine shaft instead of two between, uh, because, let's see, let me show you down here. So if, if you do three between, I think it's a bit more efficient. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'm fairly confident it's more efficient, and here's why. So when I'm mining here, right, down a slip, 
I can see this block, I can see this block, this one, this one, and the one above all the way around, right? If I go three over and then cut a slit, I see all these around, right? So the only one I really can't see is this one in the middle. And again, I'm going to see this one, and if there's something there, if the if the or started there, the chances are pretty good it's either going to pop out on this slit or this one. So it's really pretty rare that I'm going to have just a single in between them uh, that, that I'm going to miss. So uh, that's one of the reasons. I, I mean, my, my whole other mind had three in between them. Now, I started working with JD Naz, and Naz does two between. And we were talking about it, we started it, we did two between, and, and I just left it. Uh, I think it's a bit more efficient to do three between, but, you know, it just wasn't worth, this is just one of my slits, yeah, just wasn't worth going back and uh, changing it. So I think, um, you know, two between, three between, I don't think it matters a whole bunch. Just wailing on it, gonna get as pull as much of this stuff out as I can. I'm still about half, only halfway to where I need to be. Oh, really? I did find this. I don't know what to do with it. I guess I could just create a wall right beside it. Let's see. And then just keep mining, right? I do like that you can convert it to a solid block and then pull it out. That does make you know getting rid of water pretty easy. Okay. Put one more light in here. That'll let a spider get through, but I don't think a spider's gonna spawn in here. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You know, I've got diamond armor on, good grief. I just had a creeper blow up right next to me, and I survived it. So I really shouldn't complain. Uh, I guess, you know, memories of when you first come into Minecraft are pretty they're pretty traumatic. You know, the very first time you get hit by the zombie apocalypse and you're, you're killed immediately because, you know, they ganged up on you and everybody that touched you, you know, took away a heart and a half. Uh, those, memories set, those memories set deep. And once you start getting armor, it's, you know, you take less damage, less damage, but, uh, and that's, that's a solid memory there. Okay, so I, I just took a look at the time. Uh, I didn't realize it was quite so late. Um, we've been mining for a while. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, I'll do this. I do like them to be on the, all on the same level. I don't mind them being four high for this little short run, but... I'll be the same level. Anyway, what I'm saying is, I did just take a look at the time. I've been streaming for a little, or been uh, recording for a little while. Up, oh, see, this is why. What is that? Look, look, look. I love it. Ah, uh, yes. See, aren't you glad you stayed? I know I am. And do you see that if I wasn't so anal retentive, I would have never found those diamonds. If I hadn't come back and lowered this to match, I'd have never found them. So I'm not gonna argue with myself. This is this is just it works for me. Okay. Oh goodness, I'm walking like a drunk Indian here. Oh, and I mean no offense, um, that's, a, that's a saying we Texans have. <laughs> I probably should have known that either. Okay, um, I think I'm going to head back up to the top of the mine and bid you adieu. 
let's uh, let's close this off. Get up here and uh, let you know that uh, I, I'm doing both live streams and Let's Play. Uh, so do check my YouTube channel frequently. I'm, I'm trying to alternate. Uh, I've got about, I want to say, 50 to 60 percent of my issues with the live streaming worked out. Uh, I am now at least capturing some of the broadcasts and, and getting videos that I can uh, pull in and convert, put into YouTube. It's not as, uh, here we go. It's uh, not as stable as I'd like it to be. I am still working on it. If any of you out there uh, are familiar with Camtasia 8, um, OpenGL, OBS software, and want to help me take a look at what my challenges are, feel free to message me. I would welcome your help. Until the next time, this is the Geeky Minecrafter signing out, saying, Happy Mining!